We hear so much about the antioxidant power of vitamin C and vitamin E. How does pycnogenol compare to those two? Well, pycnogenol is a different class of, of antioxidants. Oh, it is? Okay. So it's a bioflavonoid, which is a completely different class of antioxidants. It's a new class of antioxidants. Ah, okay. And it's, they're actually stronger classes of antioxidants. Stronger than vitamin E and C, huh? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So pycnogenol is, is actually considered a super antioxidant because mm. it can help. And not all bi bioflavonoids are super antioxidants. Okay. Pycnogenol happens to be a super antioxidant because it actually helps vitamin C and vitamin E to stick around in the body longer. Really? So it helps the body keep the vitamin C there without being eliminated, helps it to do its job. So it actually helps them mm -hmm. you know, s um, gather up the free radicals that are there. Okay, so how is it absorbed into our system? Pycnogenol is taken as a nutritional supplement. So it's you know, just taken just like vitamin C or vitamin E. Okay. And um, what it, it lasts in our body for about 24 hours. All right. Um, from the time we take it. And it just sort of um, goes in there and, and does what any other nutritional supplement does. Only the beauty of this is that it does last for 24 hours. Um, because a lot of times mm -hmm, these, they exactly. go in and they go out, you know, they last for three or four hours. That's why we always ask patients, mm -hmm. or I always ask patients to take things several times a day because th that's the that only very way you're going to keep your blood level up. And the beauty of pycnogenol is that it does last for 24 to 27 hours in the body. So it lasts that long in the body. We absorb it by taking it as a supplement, but right. it also keeps the vitamin C and the vitamin E active in our bodies longer as well? Absolutely, it does all of that. And, and the reason why it's so absorbable is because it's a low molecular weight product. And whenever you, whenever you have something that's a low, low molecular weight product, that just means it's small enough to get into the body and it's small oh, enough to okay. get absorbed. Because sometimes we're taking these giant molecules yes. and they just can't get absorbed in the body. You know, so, so they were literally were wasting our money taking some supplements. Pycnogenol is definitely never a waste of money because low molecular weight, gets absorbed, helps all your other antioxidants. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just terrific. And so it survives digestion is what you're saying. Correct. Because it's so small, right? Because, uh, because it's, they've done studies. The, uh, the pycnogenol actually has studies that shows that the, that the metabolites of pycnogenol mm -hmm. can be measured in the urine 24 to 27 hours after you've taken the dose. Excellent. So we know it. But it's not just something, you know, the, the company So you're not going you know, to get this, oh, it. it's very expensive urine is what you're getting, right? Because this is going to stay in your body. And isn't that amazing, that whole very expensive urine oh, thing? I, know. I, I know. mean, when, when <laughs> conventional physicians tell you that or people tell you that, oh, you just have very expensive urine. <laughs> well, what happens when you take a pharmaceutical drug? It's also in your urine. I mean, right, it's gotta and it's come pretty out expensive and, too. Oh, way more expensive than pycnogenol or vitamin C or vitamin E, that's for sure. But the good news is that it keeps those other antioxidants active in our bodies and it stays at least 24 hours. That's, that's the beauty of it. I mean, that's the real take home message. I mean, to have something that helps your other antioxidant mm -hmm. and lasts in your body and gets absorbed, what more could you want from a nutritional supplement? Thank you so much. Thank you.